Canadian National Railway train M393 is seen here at milepost 184 on the former Grand Trunk and Western Flint subdivision. The second unit in this train is the former LMS lease unit, which has recently been acquired by the Canadian National under full ownership. Moments after the first train had passed, this manifest train, headed eastbound, greeted me with a shave and a haircut. It was led by two SD60s and one SD60F, a wide body locomotive. On June 9, 2013, I visited the CN Flint subdivision at Durand, Michigan, home of one of the most beautiful depots in the United States. It was built in 1904 after the original depot here was burned down. Today, the Durand Depot is served by two Amtrak trains and features the Michigan Railroad Museum. Inside, one can see a beautiful model railroad display in HO scale, which features models of local buildings in the area, including a scale replica of the Durand Depot. The layout is operated by the Durand Model Railroad Engineers Incorporated.
While visiting the depot, I saw a classic car show being held in the parking lot. The show featured classic Ford antiques, such as these two cars built sometime in the 1920s. In Duran's heyday, the station saw 140 daily trains pass by, including 42 passenger trains, 78 freight trains, and 22 mail trains, handling about 3,000 passengers per day. Before Amtrak came about in 1971, two railroads served the depot, Canadian National Railway, formerly Grand Trunk and Western, and the Ann Arbor Railroad. The two railroads combined provided a vital link to the rest of the state and country for the city of Durant. Today, you definitely won't see 140 trains pass by the Duran Depot at any given time. However, you can still catch a few trains on Canadian National Railway's two subdivisions which run through Durand. One, the Flint Sub which runs east and west past the depot, and the Holly Sub which originates south at the Diamond in Durand, onward through its namesake city, to Detroit. In this modern era of science and technology, you'd expect that errors could be avoided on the railroad. However, that's not the case. As we saw on November 15, 2001, at 6.15 a.m., 29 miles east of Durand at the Andersonville siding, milepost 37.5 on the Holly Sub, train E243 en route from Flat Rock to Flint, Michigan, collided with train L533, which was bound for Detroit, Michigan. Killed that day, were engineer Tom Landrys of Durand and conductor Gary Chase of Owasso. In their memory, a monument was erected at the Durand Depot to remind everyone to always be safe on the railroad.
The Holly Sub Local has just finished switching cars into the yard, dropping off empties to be taken north. The train is slowly returning around the Y, to hook back onto its cars to head south to Detroit. Durand is a great place to watch trains, especially for children. The up-close action gives them a first-hand experience of what railroading is all about. Here we see a young man overjoyed at the sight of a Canadian National Freight passing by with over 8,000 horsepower at the lead. Here, two General Electric units lead an eastbound train on the Flint subdivision past the Duran Depot. In addition to the Michigan Railroad Museum at the Duran Depot, there's also a railroad park several blocks northeast of the depot. It features a former Grand Trunk and Western passenger car and a Canadian National 462 Pacific type steam locomotive, number 5632. Thanks for watching this video on one of Michigan's finest rail fanning locations and one of the most beautiful depots in the United States. For more great HD video, subscribe today. Thanks for watching.